Whenever you're ready, buddy. All right, how are you? Doing great. Great outing on uh, last Sunday. Obviously, you guys expected to have a game yesterday and then uh, didn't. So, what's been going on in practice uh, as you guys kind of fill that gap? Yeah, I mean, uh, since we didn't play yesterday, we gave them a day off. Um, they still got a lot of studies to do a lot of exams, a lot of papers, a lot of projects. They were bombarded yesterday. So um, although we didn't play, at least it was a very productive day for them um, in the classroom, which is obviously uh, exceptionally important. And uh, we couldn't practice five days in a row before you play a game. That's um, obviously uh, not very smart. So I was able to you know, come back and have a really hard and intense practice um, today, uh, working on ourselves the majority of the time, and then obviously the last part of practice, working on Valpo, who we're going to be playing on Sunday, and um, you know their tendencies and um, you know what we need to do in order to be successful. How do you coach a team during finals week? Really well, the, obviously this year is a lot different. Uh, this week is kind of the the week before finals, and it's supposed to be kind of. Um, uh, not a lot of work, but it seems like um, with our players, this is the week that bombards them more than finals week. So, and everything's virtual. Um, you know, so we just try to work around their schedules. Uh, next week actually appears to be a little bit easier for um, scheduling practice time and, and our players, um, you know, a lot of them are finishing this week uh, ahead of time. So, I mean, you're trying to keep them fresh. You try to work around their schedules. And, um, you know, we try to build in that three-hour window so we can lift. We can do video as well as, um, you know, have a really good practice. So, um, you know, a lot of them will feel relieved uh, after, you know, uh, today a little bit. And then some have just a, you know, they have one or two exams next week, which is not as bad as having four or five. Definitely. Uh, definitely. You guys are 9-1 all-time against Valpo. How do you prepare uh, for that team specifically? And I guess what do you guys really look out for on Sunday? Yeah, I mean, you know, every team is um, always a, a tough opponent. Um, again, we don't look at records. We just look at what do we need to do? How do we need to get better on both ends of the floor? How do we improve on those, um, you know, kind of the, the weaknesses um, that evolved when we play a team? So we were really focusing on those things. And, you know, Valpo's played um, some good competition. Uh, they just beat Illinois the other night, so they're you know they're a real deal, which we already knew, um, you know. But they you know they're a tough team to guard because they all shoot the three and they all can put it on the floor, and um, so we've got to be able to be in our stance, not leave our feet. Um, you know, we got to use our length and our athleticism, and we got to dominate on the boards uh, like we did against North Alabama. And we need to be on the attack mode, even if they're playing sagging man or t double or triple teaming us down low. We got to do a good job of, uh, um, you know, I guess doing the things that we did before crash the boards, get to the foul line, and be efficient. Uh, before North Alabama, you talked a lot about the depth of this team and your ability to play small ball. Mm -hmm. uh, about the depth of this roster specifically and how do you think it went uh, against North Alabama? Well, against North Alabama, you know, it went pretty well, but when you're playing against all guards, you need more guards. And we only had really um, five, and Madison just had come back. So we're hoping as we go through these non-conference that we add a few more guards. Um, you know, Bria's gotten back to practice. Uh, Cassidy Harden's finally practicing. So, you know, when you play a team that has – all guards, which are seven plus seven of them guards, you know, um, you want to be able to match the same thing. So, um, you know, we just our bigs have to be able to defend. They got to be able to defend space. They got to rebound out of their area um, when we're playing against them. Uh, but anytime you can have players coming back and you have 12 players on the bench or 13, and if you have seven or eight guards and four posts, that always makes things a little bit easier for rotation and depth. Absolutely, I gotta unmute myself. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, maybe you could talk uh, for a second about Shay's performance. Shay, Kyle, uh, you know, 16.8 minutes. Uh, how are you guys gonna use her in this game? I mean, you know, I mean, it was just the first game, and um, you know, each game hopefully will continue to get better. And when she is in, other teams can't guard her. So, like Kayana said, you know, we're, we're running plays to get her the basketball. Um, she's still um, continuing to work on her stamina and her endurance. Uh, college ball obviously is much different. Um, very pleased by her effort and what she did when she was in. 
um, rebounding out of her area and those type of things. So we just have to, you know, utilize when she gets in. We need to try to bury people if we haven't been able to score down low in the post. Um, you know, and Shay's a good passer, and she just needs to really continue to develop and grow from her last performance. Awesome. Two left. Um, maybe you can talk about uh, Tamara Farquhar. Uh, you know, she obviously had a fantastic game, uh, 19 points coming back from injury. Uh, do you see her role expanding? Yeah, I mean, you know, last year she started to have a good season. Um, and with her injury, she's really worked hard to get back. And, you know, I think Tam has allowed the game come to her. Um, you know, she's more patient. She's become a better passer. Um, underseeing, you know, just letting the game slow down for her. So, I mean, you know, her, her bread and butter is that pull-up jump shot, and she's understanding when she can take it and when she needs to attack. She's starting to do a better job setting others up. Um, she's a great rebounder, as we know. Um, her free throw shooting needs to be um, exceptionally high for us this year because she always has a tendency to get fouled. So she's just really worked on the game, and uh, when she doesn't force things, uh, she's definitely a force to actually uh, guard and have to deal with. Definitely. Um, and then my final question is, uh, when will we, will we see Cassidy Hart this season? Uh, I'm not really sure. Um, going day by day. Um, I hope we see her before the Big Ten, uh, just so she can get out there and start playing. She just started really, um, you know, kind of practicing little by little, getting in, doing some things. So, um, you know, that's that's still yet to be seen. We'll, we'll kind of see how she goes day by day. What's her injury? Um, she had um, she had a surgery on her um, on her on her ankle. Thank you.